Italy are looking here at the chance to become a part of football history. We've had the greater part of a month of endless football. These championships have been full of talking points and debates, and it has been thrilling to be engaged in it. Euro 2020 has been special, memorable, magical for so many reasons. The fans have been unforgettable, as has the drama they have witnessed. It has never stopped giving, and as the curtain opens for the very last time, we look forward now to joining in the final chapter. The grandest game in this summer's grand event, and we are thrilled to have you with us for it. This game being played at Wembley Stadium, which is, in the eyes of so very many, the venue as far as football is historically concerned. And we rise now for the English national anthem. So here is how they line up, and nothing can top this moment for either set of players. It is without doubt, Peter, the greatest show we have this summer, and the fact that this is like a celebratory edition too makes it that little bit more special, doesn't it? I've certainly enjoyed it, giving us a, a fair share of just about everything we've come to expect from a competition of this magnitude, and yes, let's hope that it gets the perfect send-off. So, just who will seize their moment? As with a lot of finals, caution plays a big part in the opening stages, but an early goal can blow all that away, so I hope that we can um, create a, a, an attacking contest here, which, which obviously we want for this showpiece. Bonucci gets it back. Chiesa. Lorenzo Insigne plays a clever pass. Another chance from a corner. Fence has got rid of that. Kyle Walker. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Donnarumma sends that a long way. Looks to clip it forward. It's Insignia! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Made sure that that won't get through. Jorginho. I wonder what you've seen, Jim, over the early moments of the game. Well, neither side has really grabbed the initiative, I would say. Both 
must have come in with a view of, of not making any early mistakes. So we're seeing some conservatism here. Walker. He's making a foray down the right. Back to the keeper and go again. Played into space out wide. Could try cutting inside here. Looks to massive leap! Good delivery, no joy. Lorenzo Insigne brilliantly anticipated the delivery and he'll be annoyed it didn't lead to more. That's not going to make it. It's the through ball. He's found his man. Hits one! And he's there to clear it. It's got through to him. He's gone for it! Goal! England! Could that be the start of something big? That was a given, it always was. It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew, and yet they didn't need, and they paid the price and deserved to. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Well, Peter, the emphasis should now switch to winning it rather than even thinking about losing it. Jorginho. Chiellini tries to switch the play. Tries to get it forward quickly. Immobile. Immobile! Oh, denied brilliantly! Immobile really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Saka. And it's Kane. Kyle Walker. Decent looking ball. That's it out wide now. That's been leave it clear. Forward it goes. Has he picked him out? Immobile, he's onside. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Kane. Walker drives it forward. Marco Verratti. Verratti takes the long option. And a play for a throw. Saka with a delicate ball. Oh, great ball! Emerson. Chiesa. Ball through needs to be good here. Receives it from behind. And the weighted pass right through the middle. Going for goal! And he's there to make a great save. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping.
They've played it short. Nicely controlled. Shoots! Oh, the ball's come loose. Hoists it forward. Oh, good interception. Maguire. Whistle's gone, and we've reached the halfway point of the final. There we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal, which is very, very tight. Time in the final, Jim, how do you read it? Italy are in desperate need of some character and inspiration, and they need it now. then I think they've got to go out at the start of this second half now and set a tone that smacks of intent and determination should they manage it I think they can find the way back and no that is pretty much the end of that and it's Walker he's picked him out Saka finds himself offside Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Stokes. Shaw. Maguire. Stokes. Saka. Walker. And it's played forward. Kane with a shot! Another chance! Chiesa. Immobile, Shaw, oh, that's a foul, three kicks been given. Well, the ref's been lenient here, I doubt he'll get too many more chances. Maguire tries lifting it over and that's the end of that it all started well enough Chiellini goes looking Immobile plays it out to the flank Is given a corner. And that has been cleared. But this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Now, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. <laughs> just has to be done. to dink one in has a pop he's pulled off a fine save Kane simply didn't do anything wrong he was thwarted by brilliance and it's been taken short in towards the middle. Yeah. Keeper's got good distance on that. And here's Sterling. Now it's Kane. It's Kane! He's got away with one there. You lucky boy, you lucky, lucky boy. Giving the ball away like that is usually punished. That's a promising ball. 
Gets away from his opponent. And that's found its target. And he's certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. Well, the players are making their point, but the ref clearly isn't interested. He's waved them all away. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score. And obviously, he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? Insignia! Italy are back in business! Dispatched expertly, nicely done. Changes here from both sides, in fact. That has certainly made things interesting. Yeah, for me, both sides are strong and well matched, and I think you need to be a good player to be out there right now. Sterling plays it forward. Kane beats the offside trap. All the way back, and they start again. And it's Grealish. Look at the defender bombing forward. Walker crosses it in. He's gone for it! Goal, England! And they're back in front! England are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Italy making another change here. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. So we have a breakthrough. Now how will things develop from here? That just goes to underline why they're in this position, the ability to grind out results when things aren't quite going to plan. The signs of a top team. Hit into the middle. Italy are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Lobs it in gently. He's through the middle. Clears it out of harm's way. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? England are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Look, with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box, and if it means a long punt, then so be it. They've got to give themselves a chance. Jorginho hoists it forward to the keeper and try something new. Looking cross field, changing the point of attack, floats one over. Donnarumma 
added time is up and there goes the whistle England are the conquerors of Europe winners of the final in a European championship that has truly delivered and this is an honor which is truly deserved what a moment this is for all connected with the team it's a day for pride a day for glory another grand chapter to be added to their glittering history I'm